How are you? Good, how are you? Wonderful, wonderful. My name is Peter. Hi, Peter, I'm Ashley. What can I help you with today? Oh, uh, I have a watch that I uh, inherited from my grandfather that worked on a railroad in the early 1900s. It's beautiful. And I also have other things if you Sure, let me see what want. else you got. So why do you want to get rid of it now? My son's college, my daughter's college. How much money were you looking for? 3000 OK. Let's see what we can make happen. Hey, Brian, I'm going to ask you to help me. How about 2400 So what I can do is I can offer you a buy price of 2000 That's not enough. I can't do the 3000 That's pretty steep. Twenty-eight. I can do twenty-one. Twenty-five to the least I'll go. I'll make you a fair deal at twenty-two fifty. Twenty-five to the least I'll take. That's where I'm at. Okay. Thank you so much for your. I'm giving you a gift. Twenty-four hundred. Final offer. Nope. Really? Why didn't I get that in the beginning, that offer? Do you know where you are? You're a pawn shop. I know that. I we negotiate. That. This is correct. OK. But I appreciate it, though. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. OK. Um, thank you so much, Ashley. Anytime. Uh, have a good day, now. Have a great one. I just dealt with this guy. He gave me two ounces of gold, and he wanted $3,000, OK? I was at 2000 He went down to 2500 And then I finally met him at 2400 and he goes, nope, I don't want it. I was actually on the showroom floor. You treated the guy like crap, and you oh lowballed him right off the bat. Oh, I did not lowball him, Seth. Well, I'm obviously, you blew the deal, didn't I, you? You know what, Seth? Why did I even come in here? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. You know what? I don't even need to talk to you about this anymore. Ashley's screwing up left and right. At this rate, we're going to lose every single customer she deals with.